Fuck them hoes Pull away my mini I'm going to be applying my wig today with the low wig cap because as you can tell this braid out is far overdue like I need to take this down wash my hair and do all that so yeah all right so the first thing we want to do is clean off our skin this is an astringent from Walmart it's the Walmart brand and it doesn't matter you can use alcohol you can use sea breeze you can use an astringent it doesn't really matter and then we're just gonna clean the perimeter of our hair and because this is a closure you don't need to clean the whole hairline you can just clean from right here to right here and that'll be good so you want to get as close to your hairline as possible and on your forehead now that that's done we're going to take our got to be blasting free spray and just spray the hair back and you want to get like the perimeter right here and then you want to also pull some of those flyaways back from the hairline so when you actually do apply the wig it doesn't your hair doesn't get stuck in the glue and the gel and all that. And you can see where I applied it right here. So I'm gonna do one more coat. And then we're gonna take our hair dryer on warm. I usually do it on cool. Well, I try doing it on cool, but I feel like it takes too long to dry rather than it on like warmer heat. So yeah. Take that hot road and hop in. Monarch butterflies, you should open up. I'm trying to put your heart together, found it broken up. Going up and smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate. You can tell that there's some product there, but it's not as shiny as it was before. And so, then we take our Got to Be Glued, the spiking gel, the actual gel, and like, I'm almost out of this stuff. And I take it on this little comb. And I bought a pack of combs from Dollar Tree. So they were only a dollar. Because these combs get like gel and like the spray and everything. And then I have my good combs. Like my beauty supply quality combs. For like my natural hair and stuff like that. So using this part of the comb. I just take some of the got to be glued. On the back of the comb like that. And then I spray. Put it on top of where I put the blasting free spray. And we're just gonna spread it thin, similar to how you would do the glue for a frontal. Like that. And there's a mirror behind me that I'm looking into, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's thin. Like, yes, it's going to have a whitish residue because... Because the gel or the glue is white, but the thinner it is, the less that's going to show. Then we take our blasting free spray again and spray right on top of that. And then we blow dry again. Then we're going to take another round of the blasting free spray. And we're doing it right on top.
first impression You OPN We should be closer to friends If you OPN So we're just going to tap the glue And you can see that it's tacky Like it's tacky So we take our wig And this hair is from Blue Ribbon Bundles on Instagram I'll have them tagged down below this is a 16 inch closure and then three bundles of 16, 18, 20. This hair is thick, it's soft, it has body. So we just go put the wig on. So we're gonna put the wig on and then Gonna take one of these clips and pull the hair around the closure and pin it to the back. And then pull the closure forward. And before you stick it into the glue, you want to make sure everything is right. And then we're gonna pull forward. And lay the closure right in there. Then we're gonna take another one of these cheap combs and just press the closure down into the glue. Not the hair though. That's why you want to use a comb and not your fingers. Like that. Just push it in there. And you see all that extra glue right there? I'm gonna take another cotton round and just clean that up. And it's just gonna come right off. Like that. And then we're gonna clip the hair. Make sure everything's on there correctly. The wig is on her head. And then we're just gonna brush through. Like that. And then we're gonna take our headscarf and tie it down. Then I like to take my blow dryer again on heat and just go back and forth right here on this area to let the glue dry or cure or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so while this is sitting on my head, because there's heat, I can still feel heat trapped in here. So while that's doing its job, we're going to flat iron the hair. The flat iron I'm using today is the Baby Bliss Pro Ceramic Extreme. So, yeah. Um, this flat iron gets really, really hot. Um, like, it's hot. Like, it gets hot, hot. So how I like to flat iron my hair take the front piece and I've already gone through and pressed this hair it's just a few bumps in it because I like put it in a ponytail when I'm at work and stuff like that so I take the comb and then I take my flat iron and just chase
So yeah, like that. And it's only sticking out because it's over my ear right here when it's tied down. So yeah. Just take another piece. I do the same exact thing for work. And I'm usually like running late for work. Well, I'm not running late, but like the time I'm supposed to leave the house, I'm running late. I usually don't leave the house on time. Good thing I only work 15 minutes away from my job. But, yeah, so usually when I'm running late and I do this, I leave this on till I get to work. Because I probably don't have time to sit here and blow dry it. So I just leave this on till I get to work. And by the time I get to work, it's pretty much tacky, pretty much dry. So I'm good. I just take this off, give it one good brush, and then I go into work. So, yeah. I like this, I like doing this because one, like, dealing with my natural hair, my natural curly hair, like, just detangling it, I'll be late for work. And then trying to style it and all that, so, I like when my hair is braided up and I just throw on a wig, like, I literally am like, damn, it just shows me, like, how much time doing my hair actually takes, like, it literally takes forever when my hair is natural. So, I do cherish the moments that I have my hair braided up and I can throw on this wig. And I've had this wig, whew, I've had this hair for over, I've had this hair for over a year. Well, hold on. I think I've had this hair for almost a year now almost a year um same closure same bundles have added nothing to this hair to this unit this wig unit nothing and it's the same like same closure bleached plucked and everything like i do get some shedding but it's not like it's still a year that i've had this and it still looks good it still looks fresh new and I had stopped wearing this wig for a period of time for like a couple of months and I'm like let me put her back on like this is one of my favorite wigs like favorite favorite wigs so that side is done now we're gonna work on this side so now we're gonna take this down. And you see that white part? That's where some glue is still left. So I just take one of these, just clean it up. And there's a little bit of, little bit of balding to start right here. But you see the rest of this part? Perfectly fine. Take some mascara on this brush and I just clean it up and we good we good some concealer right in the middle and then that's it boom and this is what she is looking like so this is just how I apply my closure wigs this is just how I apply um if I'm being extra in a little flyaways I just right on top on my hand down and those babies are down so yeah this is her this is Tina this can last me this one application can last me up to a week with got to be glue this is not no bold hole nothing it's got to be glue and i feel like the reason it lasts me that long is because i apply it the same method as if it was bold hold so like the layers and all that and like it's easy removal literally 
how I remove this is I take a Q-tip in the same astringent that I use to clean up the skin and just go under the closure and just lift it up. And the Got To Be Glue lifts right up because, like I said, it's not like a glue for real. So, yeah. That is just how she goes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, yeah, tell me how you guys think this look came out and everything. Scalp, honey. Scalp. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.